Hello, my knife friends. How are you doing today? I have uh, a knife for you today. I just got this yesterday. It is a uh, handmade, hand forged, custom, one of a kind Nesmuk knife. And um, this knife was made popular by George Washington Sears. He was an outdoor writer of the late 1800s. And he was writing under his name, uh, Nesmuk, which he got the name from an Indian friend that he knew when he was a little boy that taught him how to do all these different skills outdoors and got him into uh, liking the outdoors. And he had his own little canoe that was specially designed and made for him. And uh, he was a conservationist and he just loved the outdoors. And uh, this is the kind of knife that he used. You can look more into uh, George Washington Sears or Nesmuk online, or you can get his book. Uh, you can read more about him. So here I'm just to, uh, to show you the knife that I have that was uh, inspired by, uh, by him. And my knife is a hand-forged, one-of-a-kind, custom Nesmuk. And uh, this knife has a blade of four and five eight inches of L6 high carbon steel. The handle is four and a half inches of uh, ash and the knife is nine inches overall. Now these, this type of knife was uh, favored by uh, Nesmuk or George Washington Sears because of the the blade shape because he was a hunter and uh, this was a, a really good blade for skinning game and for just uh, camp chores like uh, cutting meat and processing food, vegetables, whatnot. You can use it to, of course, I'm sure he used it to cut rope and other things, but it was mostly for uh, as a hunting knife and a knife used for, you know, food prep. And, uh, Check this knife out, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. And the blade on this, is, I think, is uh, 1 8 inch thick. And it has, on top of the spine here, if you can see, the file work that was done. Nice ash scales. Show you that. And it's got a full tang. And um, Nesmuk's knife was probably a lot thinner blade than 1 8th. You know, maybe around 1 16th or just a hair over that. But this one's a, a saber grind. I forgot to mention that. There's a lot of these uh, Nesmuk knives out there that are made in a Scandi grind, which is not the correct grind for this knife. It should be a flat grind or a saber grind, like this one here. If you want to keep it to the traditional style. So this is made, this is how, this is very close uh, to what uh, Nesmuk would have carried. Now, he would use uh, a small not necessarily this kind of knife, but this one here. This is just a, you would use this kind of knife, a small folder like this, maybe a one blade or two blade to do all his woodwork and not necessarily, you know, the larger knife. Uh, so this, everybody thinks that there's a one tool option. I guess if you're into that, then that, that's okay. But there is no such thing in my opinion as a knife that can do everything. But uh, that's what this knife, was designed for was skinning game and food processing and he would use a small folder for doing like woodwork whittling and other things but that's what I wanted to show you today is my knife and the sheath is really really beautiful uh, nice leather work here with the fringe and everything with the with the nails and on the back 
And these are the kind of knives that were carried by frontiersmen, you know, the Nesmuk knife, and the other one was famous by uh, Kephart, which is a different blade shape I showed you on one of my other videos on that knife. But, uh, okay, I don't want to drag this video out too long. I just want to show you this knife, uh, the Nesmuk, and I think it's a real beauty. And it's very well executed, one of a kind. So you're not going to find one like this for sale. Uh, you might find a similar one or some some other maker. But check out that blade. Yeah, this knife can do, uh, I'm sure it could do woodwork too, some woodwork and stuff. But that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope you like that. So if you're into the outdoors, maybe, you know, get a nest mocha from some maker for your collection and Take it out to the woods and give it a try. Okay, my friends, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.